<laughs> all right guys so this was the day i wasn't really looking for guys i'm in the uh i'm in my s10 right now and uh this this is the day that i never thought it would happen but as you guys do know man i, I did put a new battery in this truck and it's been starting up ever since i put a new battery in it but now all of a sudden guys i decided to take it out put some gas in here and this sucker won't crank now so i'm not sure what's going on i'm not sure why it's not cranking um i just talked to um i just talked to my neighbor and he's saying that it might be the alternator guys so i might have to get a new alternator for this truck but um we're gonna we're gonna figure it out he he's on his way right now so pretty much if the if the truck dies again guys then it's it's the alternator for a fact i'm gonna try to drive it back home i was i had some errands to run this morning so um but yeah like i said if it dies um i will just get it towed home but yeah but uh yeah guys yeah man so uh dude asked me for some money for some tires for some air in the tires man i ain't got no money for no air in the tires i ain't got no change bro but uh but yeah man so i'm waiting on him right now to come pick me up and uh yeah we're gonna see where it go from there man right now i'm stuck on the road man this is my first time actually getting stuck on the road man like i know i i always said man that this truck never stuck uh got stranded on the road man but today hey it's, sh it's showing its true size now today man i haven't really been driving this truck for about actually uh a long time man so it's been sitting up and um as you guys do know i did do the dashboard and everything so um i don't think that plays a part of it so yeah guys i just don't know what it is man i don't know what it is maybe maybe because oh no i i just disconnected the obd obd2 so that ain't the issue but uh but yeah guys i don't know what's going on man but we're gonna figure it out as soon as when my neighbor comes see y'all in a minute man so as y'all can see man we this is the old battery right here guys this is the old battery right here so this is the one that was completely dead um i'm not sure why this one is dead guys like i said um this is a brand new battery unless i didn't hook up something right i'm not sure but uh something is not right man something is not right so i can't trust this truck going anywhere else i'm gonna have to uh you know what i'm saying tra uh not trailer it but i'm gonna have to just take it back home and park it appreciate it man appreciate it so yeah man but i'm gonna get back with y'all in a minute all right guys man the truck is completely down guys it's not starting up i try to make it home guys with it but uh that sucker ain't doing nothing man so i'm stuck on the side of the road and uh which is cool man things happen man um really not sure what it is it might be one of my cables that i didn't hook up right on my battery i'm thinking that is that guy so it's not holding a charge um but it was starting up fine when i had it at the house uh, like i said i have not been driving this truck um uh, even when i put the battery in i did not take it for a long drive so maybe it wasn't enough driving to actually you know uh catch on or whatever so uh what i'm gonna do is my wife she's getting ready to come up here help me out man um i'm gonna take one of my cables off the battery and i'm gonna take off my uh my amp battery i mean my amp cable uh yeah my system my radio system cable and i'm gonna hook it back up because i think it's not getting the full connection uh, that it needs to for the battery can be uh, charged for the truck can run. So um, we're gonna I'm gonna see if that's gonna work out, guys. If that doesn't work, then it's gotta be something else. It might be the alternator or something like that. I'm not sure. My neighbor said he thinks it's the alternator, so it might be just the alternator. I never changed the alternator out on this truck uh, since day one. This truck has been running fine, guys. So yeah, I'm not sure, but uh, yeah, man, we stuck on the road, man. First time. I said, I, I always said it, guys, that this truck never let me stranded, man. It let me stranded this time, man. So it is what it is, guys. Hey, ain't nothing you can do about it, man. 
So guys, I cannot believe she let me down, man. And I had just washed her yesterday too, man. I just shined her up and everything, man. And uh as you guys can see, a lot of traffic on this road, man. But yeah, she let me down, man. I gotta get her running again, man. Got the interior done and everything, man. Can't, man, it's crazy. I gotta have this thing running, man. Can't believe she let me down today, man. But it's all good, y'all. Y'all just uh, you know, when you're going through a situation like this, guys, you want to uh look at it as a as a positive note. Stay positive, man. Um, things like this happen, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just life. It, it happens. You know, this, this truck is old. I'm not mad. I'm actually happy uh, because this truck gave me, you know, it, 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 did, it, did its, it did its job, you know. So far since I had it, it did its job. So uh, I'm not complaining. I'm not mad. Like I said, this is an old school. Old schools, uh, they tend to, uh, you know, they tend to have their own mindset. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, that's like I said, it, it comes with that of having old school. Like I said before, you have to be patient with these trucks and well, any kind of old school. You have to be patient, guys. Like they, you know, if, if especially if you don't have a brand new engine in there, you got to be patient with the older one, man. You know what I'm saying? This one is the original engine that's in this truck. So, uh, like I said, I'm not mad. This truck ran pretty good for the longest and uh we're gonna keep it rolling man that's that's just the way it is we're gonna keep it rolling um we got the interior almost put together and uh yeah man we're gonna keep on going with it we're not stopping we're not stopping we're not letting nothing stop us man this is not gonna stop me at all this is always gonna keep me going and keep me motivated and that's what y'all need to do too man when y'all go when y'all going through something keep it going stay motivated stay focused and uh yeah man you're going to succeed in life, and you're going to keep doing what you always wanted to do. So with that being said, we're going to wait on my wife to come and uh, see if we can get this thing off the road, y'all. All right, guys, so my wife is about to pull up, man. We finna figure this thing out because we got to get off this road, man. Traffic is really bad, as y'all can see already, man. It's really bad. We got to get off this street, man. But there she is right there. If you guys can see her, she is coming, man. So we good to go. Hopefully we can figure this out, guys, and um, get get old Lucy back on the road, man. We got to get back on the road, man, because, uh, yeah. But that's that's what comes with old schools, guys. Y'all got to look for things like that. You know, I've been having this truck for 10 years now, and uh, she's been doing fine. So I pretty much know this truck. So, you know, at the end of the day, uh, it is what it is. You know, God is going to watch us. They, you know, he's going to watch over us while we uh you know drive in the mornings wake up in the morning while we sleep he he knows the plan man he know what to do so uh this this happens for a reason man you know that's just the way life is but we're gonna figure this thing out right now all right y'all man so i finally uh figure uh not figured out the issue really Ho i hope i changed the issue but my wife forgot the jumper cables at home when i told when i told her to bring them y'all i told her to bring them and she forgot them so now she gotta go way back home get them and uh bring them back and we gotta jump start this thing because uh i'm pretty sure the battery is like completely dead so it needs some some juice to start this thing back up man so uh like i said man hopefully when she bring those jumper cables back it will start and uh we can take it on home man and i can figure out what to do next uh but let me show y'all what i was talking about though all right y'all so this is my amp my radio for my amp and everything so this was pretty much on this terminal here and i i'm thinking maybe since this is so thick guys it didn't it wasn't giving it a, a full connection on the terminal so um before i had fixed it it had like a gap as you can see right here on this little plate guys it had like a gap it was kind of like open a little bit on the bottom so i'm thinking that it wasn't giving it wasn't getting the full connection that it needed and uh while i was driving it it probably drained the battery down so uh we're gonna see man once my wife come back with the jumbo cables and uh if it starts if it runs all the way to the house that's was the issue that was that was going on guys so what if that is the issue I'm going to have to see if I can put something else on here or something thinner 
um, so that can work. But uh, yeah, I, for now I'm not putting that back on yet. So, so we gonna we gonna figure this out, man, and um, see what see what we can do, man. I hate to see her on the road like this, though, man. I hate to see my baby on the road, man. But it's all good. Like I said, man, things happen for a reason in life, and uh, you know you just gotta you just gotta um, look at it as a blessing. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys. So we done made it back home with the. Big old Lucy, man. <laughs> so I think we came to a conclusion, guys, that it was, uh, it might be the alternator, guys. I never changed the alternator out since I bought this truck. So it, it has been a blessing since, um, like I said, since I've made this $1,700 purchase about 10 years ago. So it's been a blessing. Um, like I said, since I had this truck, I really haven't been having that, like, major issues with it um so it's a blessing that you know that's probably the only thing that's wrong with it right now so i already ordered a part guys the part should be here within the next week or so i ordered that and i ordered some red leds um what was it uh fuel gauges and i ordered uh fuel gauge and oil pressure gauge i do need to order the speedometer and the temp uh the temp the temp gauge and also the vultures gauge so once all of that come in guys i will be installing all of that and then hopefully man we can find somebody to put my stereo hook my stereo up man because i definitely need that guy but uh other than that man everything went pretty pretty good today um like i said it's a blessing um i'm not gonna look at it as that you know uh it was a bad thing that actually happened today it might have happened for a reason like they said, you know, things happen for a reason, guys. Maybe it wasn't meant for me to head to track the supply this morning. Um, so, like I said, things happen for a reason. It's cool. Like I said, I ordered a part. I got a brand new alternator coming on its way. So, we're going to install that. We're going to get this thing back on the road. And we're going to think positive from now on, guys. We got to think positive on any situation that you go through, guys. You got to think positive, man. And just keep it moving, man. That's just the way life is. You know what I'm saying? Anything bad happen, just keep it moving, man. Think at it, think at it as a, a blessing and just keep it moving, guys. But, uh, man, yeah, we finally got it home. We got it home safe. We had to actually uh, keep jumping the truck off. And uh, we got the truck home safely, man. So that's the most important thing, guys. But, um, but yeah, we got it looking good, man. What I'm going to do tonight is put it, I'm going to put a car cover over it, guys. Because, man, as you guys know, it's been really hot here in Texas. So uh, I'm gonna put a car cup, a truck cover over it, and then I will be covering these cars as well, uh, because man, this sun is just beaming down hard, man. And we also will be covering that one too, man. So all the cars gonna be covered from now, uh, from now on out, because like I said, these cars, the the mirrors and everything, they just falls down because of all the heat and everything, man. As you guys know, it's getting super hot out here. So, uh, but yeah, man, we got the crossfire looking real real glossified y'all see it's got the tire shine on that thing man looking real clean guys man hold up man so i can't wait to put those led uh headlights in there uh like i said man we got more things coming for the truck man it's just a little minor setback guys but hey that's what comes with owning the old school believe it or not if you have an old school y'all know what i'm talking about man so but uh yeah man but yeah, man, so that is going to be a wrap for the video, man. I appreciate all the love and support that y'all give me, man. It's going to be more videos coming. Actually, I got a new camera coming as well, guys. So y'all stay tuned, man. It's, the quality is about to go up. From here, it's about to be lit. As the young guys say, it's about to be lit, man. So y'all just stay tuned, man. Stay tuned for all the videos that I got coming up, guys. Like I said, man, I really appreciate all the new subscribers that came my way. We finally hit 3K. I appreciate all of you guys. I love you guys, man. Y'all stay safe out there. Remember, guys, stay focused. Work hard, believe in yourself, man, and you can achieve any type of goal that you want to achieve in life, man. Don't down yourself. Just stay positive in your mind. You know what I'm saying? Anything bad happen, think at it as, as a positive uh, comeback. You know what I'm saying? So uh, with that being said, man, this is your boy, King's Life, checking out with another video, man. I'm out. Peace, man.
Brother Gim. It's a red stick.